If if five hundred dollars in insurance is what's gonna stop you from living your purpose, oh, how bad do you don't really do want it? it? Come don't on. do it. How bad Come do you on. really want it? It is this talk time with inspirational Rob. I'm Eric, or better known as E. And this is part two of our special guest because we couldn't get it all in in the time that was allotted. But Tanisha is here. Tanisha. Don't call her Siri Tanisha. Call her Tanisha, <laughs> the mogul, the coach. Would you consider, consider yourself a life coach? No, but no. Um, why you gotta do it like that? No, don't come <laughs> <confuse. laughs> on me. Well, not even that. I'm work. I'm working on that. I'm working on what what that looks like in the next five to ten years. So yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So you do go set five ten years? I do, okay. I do, I do know what I want, where and what I want my five to ten years to look like. Amazing. Yeah. So your primary purpose again, as we said in show number one, is that you help business entrepreneurs. Give me your tag. <laughs> Well, hello. I'm so excited to be back for number two, yes. you guys. My tagline is, I help entrepreneurs get consistent and confident at this thing called social media. I love to help you grow your audience. But most importantly, we talk about putting those coins in your pockets. So you say your niche uh -huh. would be to whom? Who I should come to Tanisha? Entrepreneurs. Okay. As, aspiring entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, business owners, anybody who wants to start a business, somebody who's looking to create generational wealth, somebody who's looking mm. to break or, or to build generational legacies. Yeah. So you said uh, generational wealth. Mm -hmm. uh, you're setting up generational wealth. Mm -hmm. You said earlier in the in uh, episode one, mm -hmm. seven streams of income. Uh -huh. Yes. Is that, that's a, that's a must do. That's a must do. Mm -hmm. That's a must do. And you know what? I got to go down the line and count them because I don't know where I'm at right now. Okay. But yeah, it's a must. And, and to the person that's still working because you left your corporate job, we talked about mm -hmm. that in episode one, go listen to episode one. Mm -hmm. uh, but you, you had an exit strategy. Yep. Can you do both? What, what, what does it look like for somebody that's still working and wants to be a serial entrepreneur? <laughs> <laughs> Or <laughs> should you do both? Oh, how long do you I do both? I want to turn to the camera uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, zoom yeah, in. Yeah, Anyone, because yeah, yeah. he coming out the gate yeah, swinging, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Um, I need you. Yes, you can do both. And I want to encourage entrepreneurs to do both until they can handle only doing one. Okay. Sometimes um, the, the word entrepreneurship can be a fancy, sexy word. Like, yeah. it's a word that we all want, like, to, to have and we really want to be an entrepreneur or a full-time entrepreneur yeah. but yeah. once again if they go back and listen to the first episode the first time I tried to become a full-time entrepreneur or uh, entrepreneur it didn't work for me right I, I had to go back um when I went back the part that I left out in the last story was that I had to grow from the bottom up in the corporate world setting right so okay. it took me from mm -hmm. from zero I had to start mm -hmm. from the rooter to the two yeah. I like to say right mm -hmm. so during this it educated me right mm -hmm. my company was flying me across the world across the US to to learn new things they were enrolling me into college programs okay. they were well, they had great plans they, for you they had great plans <laughs> they didn't see it coming right <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. They ain't see it coming. When, when did you know it was coming? Um, when did I know it was coming? So let me get there. Let me get okay. there. So they're doing all of these things, and I'm putting all of these resources in my back pocket mm -hmm. okay. until it got unbearable. My time, I was exchanging my time mm -hmm. and my mm -hmm. peace. Mm. for money they were dangling this promotion carry in my face i got promoted 13 times in eight mm. years um so it, it was safe to say they were feeding what they thought was my dream okay. but it started to interfere with those serial hustles that i had those wow. businesses that i had wow. but not wow. only that it started to play with my mind so when you say can you do both Yes, you can do both. But if your entrepreneur, your side hustle, your main hustle, whatever you want to call it, if it starts to exceed mm. the need for your job, that's kind of when you got to evaluate. Am I comfortable at my job? Because mm -hmm. a lot of us just stay 
our businesses may be hitting it and doing it, mm-hmm. but we're just comfortable. We're we're staying at our yeah, corporate job yeah, out of yeah, fear. Yeah. We want that 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 corporate carrot to never mm-hmm. dangle away. We want them to just keep replenishing our corporate carrot. Mm-hmm. And that necessarily isn't walking in your purpose. If we got to go back Ooh. to you walking in your purpose, wow. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's not walking by faith, right? That's yeah. that's not that's not really trusting. Um, that's kind of putting yourself in handcuffs. So for each person, I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna wrap up. For each person, it's gonna look different when they leave corporate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But when the when it comes to a time when it's playing with your mind, you're sitting in your car crying. There were days I would sit in my car before I walked through the corporate doors and wow. I would be crying. Wow. And why would I be crying? Because I didn't want to go in That's there. That's prison, yeah. man. That's prison. Yeah. That is prison. That's yeah. prison. Mm-hmm. As one entrepreneur says, a job is just over broke. Just. I was like, that wow. carrot. Yeah. That carrot. You know, it's, it's funny. Matter of fact, uh, my son and I was talking about this the other day. A lot of times, you know, it's a, this is one of my, maybe this is, yeah, we can talk about this. It, why in America, I don't believe that the healthcare system is ever going to be like, become like universal or anything like that. And I don't know where people stand with that, but that's not my point. My point is this, is that I believe that the reason why that'll never go away, mm-hmm. well, we'll never have like universal health care, mm-hmm. is because that's that major carrot. Because mm-hmm. what, what do people say? Well, the, the pay is not that great or whatever, but the benefits, yeah. it's the benefits. Yeah. That's an amazing carrot. Yeah. Don't couple that with a decent income too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, yeah, it's comfortable. It's comfortable. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, I don't have to, all I have to do is get up. But that's not purpose, Tanisha. Come on, that's and not And it puts purpose. you in a class. Mm-hmm. It does. It's not purpose. Mm-hmm. And if, oh, we, Rob, I received this <laughs> from somebody. If if $500 in insurance is what's going to stop you from living your purpose, oh, how bad do you really do want it? it? Come don't on, do it. How bad come do you on, really want on, that on, thing? What? Come if $500, on. Unpack that. like, because in the grand scheme of things, I'm going to be a thousand percent honest. When I looked at my tw- my 2018 check stub and it said $118,000 is what I made that year. Mm-hmm. You gonna walk away from that? Come out. Yeah. Come, I'm gonna I'm walk away from that and man, the five hundred dollars that it was uh, contributing to my uh, health care. Because yeah. do you know how much money I have made over the last past three years? Mm-hmm. I made five hundred dollars more over. Come on now. More, yeah. but you know, but Come why, on, Rob? Man. You know why? <laughs> why, 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 why? Because I believe I can. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. I heard that. <laughs> But and that's just, come I on can. with come it. Out. You can. I believe man, I can. Man, and we man, stay in our corporate man. jobs because man. we don't believe necessarily in our full capabilities. We say we do for 10 years. I said oh. I did. But did I really? Because I wasn't disciplined. I wasn't doing the stuff I needed to do. I wasn't. Uh, um, when I decided to quit corporate, when I put my exit strategy into place, I stopped drinking alcohol. Mm-hmm. Why did I stop drinking alcohol? Because I needed to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. I needed to be able to trust myself. I needed to be able to see the forest through the trees. I'm not saying that somebody else's testimony is that they're going to be sober or that. (laughs) That that was my discipline. Because why? Because why? You needed that. But I was going out to happy hour with my coworkers (laughs) every day. They they didn't have this dream that I had. They Mm -hmm. wasn't sitting in the car parking Mm -hmm. lot with me when I was crying Mm -hmm. before I had to go in. They wasn't holding my hand, wiping my tears, saying it's going to be okay. So it was some things that I needed to let go. Somebody needs to let go of that five hundred dollar healthcare mentality. We we connecting it to healthcare, but it's really something major that someone is holding on to that's keeping them in their corporate job. So, has any of your uh, former coworkers reached out to you? Oh, probably not within the last past year, but I will tell you that I have coworkers that are now students within my program. Come on. Yeah. I have I have coworkers that are students within my program. Um, <laughs> I have coworkers that they yes, they do follow me on like social media and they will interact with me on social media. The the craziest thing is when I was leaving and they didn't see it coming because I, I really didn't disclose right, it. Right, right, um, but right. when you tell me, T, there's always a place here for you. You can yeah. come back. Yeah. Also, you believed in me with limitations. Mm. You believed that I was the right mm. person for you corporately, mm. but you don't think that I can go out and do this thing mm. entrepreneurially. So I kind of use that as as passion. So some people I don't even want to associate with outside of that realm because mm. 
Mm. That purpose, yeah. that peace. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. not gonna that give negativity. you. I'm not gonna give you opportunity to yeah. say, "Oh, how your little business doing?" Ooh, Ooh I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna yeah. give you time to play with me in that way. Right. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? I'm so, not, you're not yeah. gonna have, have any, has, has any of your uh, leadership came back and reached out to you and said, "You know, good job." So, so yes, actually, yes, actually, yeah. um, another. <laughs> What? Can I take my hat off? I should have wore a hat so I could take my hat off to you, E. Come on. You got a Detroit made hat on. Well, get it so I can keep doing this. Um, Yeah, so, and and this is the part about, and I teach this in my program too, um, about not sweeping your dopeness up underneath the rug. Mm -hmm. Like some of us have some moments Mm -hmm. in our lives that are are true testaments Mm -hmm. to, you know, how far you have Mm -hmm. come that you didn't have any handouts, all of these things. So when you ask, has senior leadership um, reached out? They have, but you know what the best part about senior leadership? Mm -hmm. They didn't see it coming. When I gave them my notice, a day before I was leaving, one mm-hmm. of the the VPs of um, the company pulled me into the office and we were having a hard time mm-hmm. because he, he considered himself my mentor. Did I consider okay. him my mentor? Wow. Yes, maybe, maybe okay. Not. Come on, we're gonna call a spade a spade, Come right? Uh, your boss. <laughs> but he is my boss. So he was feeding into me, asking me what, what I plan to do. So I'm giving him very surface level answers, you know. Um, but at the end, I told him that I wasn't willing to not be happy anymore. And whatever that meant for me in my next journey, it meant that I wasn't gonna be, it was gonna mean that it was gonna be filled with happiness. So about two months later, this same gentleman, VP of a billion dollar company, mm-hmm. retires. Mm-hmm. I reach out to him and say, hey, congratulations on your retirement. I heard you retired because at this time I was still mm-hmm. talking to people in corporate. And he instead of him responding to me in text, he actually picked up the phone and said, you inspired me. Mm-hmm to be happy. Whoa. You inspired me to leave. He Whoa. says the politics and everything isn't worth I'm my serious. happiness anymore. Wow. It's not worth oh, my yeah. family happiness. Wow. And he says, you taught me that. Wow. And that to me, wow. I hold that in my back pocket when at the days when I'm trying to, I'm trying to run from yeah. it, when yeah. I don't believe in yeah. myself, when I don't think, this, this 60 year old white man, learn something from from this 35 year old black woman that inspired him to do something differently so which mm -hmm. which probably kind of led to 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 part of your uh transition into uh coaching too Mm -hmm. probably because you start to see hey there's something here with leading people in that but i want to say something and i know we're going to get to these other things that we have but i want to say this too and it's probably more of a statement but I do believe that you're not necessarily saying, tell me if I'm right or wrong, mm-hmm. that being in corporate, working for someone else is a bad, necessarily a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes people live out purpose in corporate. Come out. They live out purpose mm-hmm. working for somebody else. Mm-hmm. And, a, and think about it, as we and we're all entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. all of us here, we're mm-hmm. entrepreneurs, right? And we want people working for us. Come on. We want loyal people working for us. We want people who are who are going to be there for the long haul. That's going to help us grow the company. And so we're looking for people who can live our purpose in that job. So the worst thing that could happen is people that work for us are not living our purpose, and now they're not helping the company. But if they're if that's their passion and their purpose to help a company, you know what I'm saying, and to help grow a company or business. Yeah. That's a win-win. So I don't think you're saying, Coach T, is that it's wrong. Mm-mm. But if that's not where you're supposed to be, you need to have an exit plan to get out of that. Come on, sometimes. Oh, what I heard right? you say, Rob, was that <laughs> come on, E, right? Like, what is what's going on here? Sometimes uh, I need for some. Your your support is purpose. Amen. Come on. No, not everyone is meant for entrepreneurship. And you're going to drive yourself crazy believing that you are if you're trying to make your make yourself fit into this game. Maybe your 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 purpose is to support. Maybe my purpose in this journey, if I don't do nothing else, is tell E how dope he is, how much I believe in him, how much I want to help give him the framework. It's not me running E's company. It's me being support. Uh, 
so, it, you're so good. <laughs> you're so good. She's so, so good. Let me jump in there. Uh-huh. So your ability, and again, your authenticity mm-hmm. and your transparency is, is is absolutely evident. And I think that's what sets you apart from a mm-hmm. lot of platforms out there because mm-hmm. people are about profits, but not about purpose. Mm-hmm. And and I heard mm-hmm. a quote the other day that, that just put me on fire. <laughs> And it says, your future needs a coach. Oh, wait one second, Eve. Wait one second. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, wow. why are you doing that? <laughs> um, I gotta write that down. Please. <laughs> why are you doing that? I want you to speak to why people need a coach. Because a lot of people, even myself included, I think I'm a pretty smart person. But then it it humbled me to actually look at you and study you and, and say, you know, I'm gonna give this young girl a chance. Mm-hmm. And uh, but when I did, um, you definitely helped me in my processes, uh, definitely in my purpose, which which equated to profit. Mm-hmm. So talk about why do I need a coach? Oh, you can't coach and play the game at the same time. I can, I can oh. go. I can go oh, down the list. Hold on, hold on. You, you play can. sports. And I never oh, heard that. And play the game at the same time. It's hard to be a player coach. It's, a, it's a hard to be a player coach. They you can't work. see all the way around you. You uh, can't throw the ball at the hoop. You they don't work. It don't work. And I just want to say this too, though, in, in, in correlation with that, many of us ain't got enough. It took me, if y'all heard the story from the last episode, it mm-hmm. took me 15 years to get where I got, where I am. Mm. But it wasn't so to, it's a process. It's a process. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't until I got a coach that that thing got shortened. Many of us don't have 15 years to dedicate to this thing. Many of us don't have 15 years <laughs> to Google stuff. and YouTube That's our way true. through. Where wow. does a coach come in? I didn't. I, the stuff I done learned in the streets, the scabs I got on my knees, is going to help someone to yeah. shorten their curve. Yeah. Oh, you, you don't. Yeah. You already paid that price. You are. I paid that price. I paid that wow. price. Yeah. Wow. You've done the legwork. Wow. I've done wow. the legwork. So wow. for someone who is asking, do you need a coach? In my opinion, yes, you need a coach. It's not a want. It's not something that you you wake up and say, I want a coach. Mm. But I do want to say this thing too, E. Mm-hmm. Many people are searching for the right time. When do I get a coach? Yes. Um, I'm going to wait until right I get now. this It'll thing all that. put right together. <laughs> I'm going to make sure everything can fit into this one box before now you done built this box and you done built it halfway. Mm. The time ain't going to ever be right yeah. in your mind. <laughs> to what you said, there are so many. What, what, what hurt me was what I didn't know. So what I didn't know was what was hurting me. And I knew a lot of things. But then when you brought in those processes, like you have the... It's a simple sheet that you distribute in your in your community, mm-hmm. like fifty apps and things uh-huh, you can utilize uh-huh, to uh-huh, make your uh-huh. processes simple. Yeah, and I was just like, "What? Well, I never would have found that." Yeah. Right. Right. it would right. took me hours yeah. and, and right. relationships yeah. and right. trial and error. Yeah. Right, but that's a coach. That's a coach. Mm-hmm. So can I can I ask? Can, mm-hmm. Let me ask you a question here, and I, I want you to share this with people because I think you hit on something. Cost. Should cost be a barrier for people oh, yeah. when it comes to hiring a coach? Mm. I mean, what should, what what should the consideration be? Mm. Because I know I hear people all the time. Well, I can't afford it. Mm. They don't want to pay to play. But but, but 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 I would say you can't afford not to pay because mm-hmm. you gotta have that coach, man. Come on, you have to, you you have, have, to. have to have the coach. It's now, an you can get some it. things you online, make a college stuff tuition. like that, but that person. Ooh. Yeah. What coach? What coach? What? Stop operating out of your lack is what I heard you say. <laughs> oh. Stop operating out of your lack. That's a word. I'm gonna borrow from you. That's she's, that's one of her catchphrases. That now that's a word. That's a word. Stop right? operating out of your lack. The last of Ooh. 21. And in the 22, stop mm. operating out of your life. And, I'm sorry. and what you receive when I say that, Eve? I, I, I receive that you have to go now, that you have enough to get started. You got it. That you got to invest you got in yourself. You if exactly. you believe in yourself. If you're operating on the things that you don't have. You're operating on from a vein of what if it mm. does not work. You right. are operating right. out of what if I don't make my money back. You're operating out of your uh, out of lack. You're yeah. not operating out of belief, or out fear. of or or, or fear. It's, it's fear. And yeah. sometimes the fear is fear of success. Yeah. Sometimes we know how dope we are, and that can scare the shit out of you as well. It did yeah. that to me. Mm-hmm. It did that. that yeah. I, mm-hmm. I, that's where I was. Mm-hmm. That's where I was. Mm-hmm. And you were talking about different things. We were talking before the 
we we started taping about some of our our, our hangups and yeah, things that absolutely. were holding us back. The one thing that was my issue. Mm -hmm. Fear of success. Mm -hmm. I knew I knew what to do. I knew yeah. I had this. That. Yeah. I knew I could do it. And it was like, whoo, this success thing, man, mm -hmm. is scaring me. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, even when it came to the Inspirational Rob podcast, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sorry, Instagram thing, and my son had to tell me, Dad, nobody, they, nobody, you got it. And I'm Come like, on. I know it, but yeah. I'm like, got it. He's like, just do this. And I was like, and I was, and, it was, and I believe, because I had already done some things prior to this. But it was the fear, I believe now, mm -hmm. of success, man. It's mm -hmm. like, this thing blows up on the what, what do I do? I what mean, do I do next? Yeah. That's, that's, an, that's a wild place to be. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people feel that, though. As a coach, mm -hmm. you get that a lot, mm -hmm. don't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. People are afraid of success. Mm -hmm. You're afraid of success? I, I've had that fear, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm working on that now. I've had that. I know I've had it. I've been around successful people. And sometimes it can intimidate you. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, yeah. The, yeah. the the responsibility, the scrutiny. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. so yeah, so. Uh -huh. And I just turned it back over to E in the spirit of I transparency. Don't know why that was wrong. What? <laughs> you just turned it back over to me, but I'm gonna get you later. <laughs> okay. No, because well, I we like that because like that. I okay. think that people need to see themselves <laughs> yeah. within yeah. each of us. I agree. Yeah. You I are agree. you are one of my one of my babies, one of my students, yeah. right? Yeah. And he's like. I don't want to say he speaks for, for the community, right. but I do believe we are all aligned in some way. Uh, uh, everyone who I rock with, we had we share. Yeah. It's no question if I got a question their loyalty because I've built a community that, mm. that represents mm. the values that I believe mm. in. So when mm. I asked E, I was just only asking because him and I share the same belief um, or I share the same mindset that mm -hmm. at one point I was afraid of success. That thing was... Yeah. It was scary. What if I quit and, yeah. like, I'm a millionaire and now I have to take care of my whole family? Well, T, wow. you already taking care of your whole family, oh, realistically. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hello. What if Hello. I quit and Hello. now people are putting me wow. on a pedestal? Well, T, you are already on a pedestal. And I don't want to be on a pedestal. I, I want to make sure I say that a thousand percent. None of us wants to be on a pedestal. But we all have to realize that somebody is looking up to us. That's part wow. of your purpose. It is. That's yeah. the thing that you don't realize. you like, who, me? Yes, you. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you. Yeah. Listen, and we out of time. Wow. Amazing. Wow. This is amazing. You're an amazing individual. I'm glad to be back in the community. I'm coming back. Um, you know, you need a coach in your life. I will say that you need coaches and people of influence in your mm -hmm. life. I realize that more so now than ever. Me too. Being around influential yeah. people and people yeah. that are yeah. what we say doing it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got to be in that environment. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Father, forgive me for I've sinned. I, I took a break, mm -hmm. but I should have took a break mm -hmm. because it's just that valuable in my life. Mm -hmm. So where can they find you? Because they need to hook up with Coach T because you can catapult them to the next level. Mm -hmm. One thing I want to say is that coaches solve problems uh -huh. and you solve problems mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we continue to support you and, and admire you and thank you. Thank you. So where can we find you? Any closing words? I just, I, you just said something just real quick. You Go just ahead. said something that you took a break and you shouldn't have. I want to receive that you didn't take a break. You stood still in mm -hmm. order for you to realign. Mm -hmm. And um, because I know you and I know the work that you put in, you're never mm -hmm. taking a break. Mm -hmm. You, you yeah, just standing true. still until you, you get you the next always. message. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I, 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 but I don't want to be busy just, doing nothing. Just, just so everybody's I be, clear. I want to be productive. Uh, but there we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He ain't um, sitting around. Right. He, 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 he ain't definitely sitting around. But even sitting in around. sports, and I'm going to let you get back to Even in sports, different coaches make a difference. You see when there's transition that, coaching, no, that's it true. makes a difference. Mm -hmm. you no, know? And you just mm -hmm. have to attribute that to coaching. Mm -hmm. you know? I mean, I'm going to hire this coach. And, I, and I, I don't say that just to be trying to blow up, put a blow her uh, ego up. Or, I don't need to hire because me as I'm, I'm going to look, I'm going to look into uh -huh. what you're doing because I'm a business guy. And sometimes we, we need to, we need that fresh viewpoint. Yes. Too, and that fresh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 we need leather that, and boots. And, no, 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 you know need fresh perspective. <laughs> I, like like I just got you, you back. Need, you need, <laughs> but you do. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 yeah, I mean, it's, I'm not just looking at it for myself, but people who I believe in, friends, I'm going to turn them on to you because I really feel mm -hmm. like, you know, if we're going to do this thing. We need to be coached mm -hmm. and need to be coached by someone who has been there, who have done that, and have put in the legwork so we don't have to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The stuff we don't have to do, yeah. you don't got the to. headaches yeah. and, like I said, skinning up your knees, I don't need to do that. If I don't mm -hmm. need to do that, 
Not if it's already been done. I'm, I can I'm, learn I'm, from I'm your experience. Coach, I'm, get, right, I'm, I'm not going, but I'm not going down that street. Man, so, man, man. And I, I just so I guess what I would say is, how can someone work with me? You guys kind of led me here because mm-hmm. I don't even want to talk about my coaching you program. Really, Please. I want I want to direct someone in a different re- okay. direction because I feel like the people who will watch this as a um, as a replay or, mm-hmm. or whatever we're gonna call this thing, right? Mm-hmm. Um, they need to be in a room. Mm-hmm. Right, like for me, mm-hmm. it's it's sometimes you need to be in the room and touch the hem of E's garbage. You need to mm-hmm. be in the room and touch the hem of Rob. Mm-hmm. You know, because mm-hmm. the we pregame for five minutes before recording, right? right. In the spirit of transparency, right. Right. the right. information that I get from five minutes of being in the mm-hmm. room mm-hmm. is life changing. So if I got to tell somebody about a program, it's not going to be about my coaching program. I want to invite someone to be in the room in this season. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the room and I I started something called the mogul mastermind community where we're going to just be in there uh, masterminding you come in you share your product ideas maybe you share something that worked well for you 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 pitch your product but I'm also going to bring in industry people experts on the game experts on business credit experts on trucking experts on stocks I'm gonna bring in tall guy tycoon he gonna be in the room it's gonna be people in the room that that will help you to understand what your purpose is. Wow. One thing we didn't talk about today, and I know we got to go. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Uh, one thing we didn't talk about today was the power of um, there it went <laughs> the power <laughs> the power of, uh, of of bringing value to to an expectation to whatever it is that you're doing. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we have not because we have ask not, but more importantly, we don't have because we haven't assigned the expectation to it. Mm-hmm. So in 2022, Thanks. I want to start assigning some expectations to where people are looking to go, what relationships they're looking to to mm-hmm. uh to implement, mm-hmm. and that's all going to happen in the mobile mastermind community. The link in my bio, um, I think it's the first link in my bio. So if you go over to Instagram, you can mm-hmm. go over and you can type in or click the link in my bio. Mogul underscore maker is my Instagram. Mm-hmm. Mogul underscore maker is my Instagram. And you can just click the first link in my bio and that can be how you sign up. So Mogo, spell that Mogo because I'm telling mm-hmm, you, mm-hmm. I'll be like M U O G O. Come on, come on, come on. Because yeah. Mogo underscore maker. Yep. So yeah. M O G U L underscore maker. Yeah. Before we go, I'm gonna do my rapid round. Mm-hmm. Give me three words. Give right. me the first thing that comes to your mind. Mm-hmm. Okay. Love. I, I gotta just do one quick word. <laughs> Whatever comes to your mind. Okay. Uh, uh, love, money. Money. Mm-hmm. Okay. Entrepreneurship. Tomorrow. Today. Oh. Tomorrow is today. I'm, oh, that's good. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. The mic is over there. I'm done. Thank you so much. This has been a joy and a thrill. You need to connect with her. And we thank you for coming to Talk Time with Inspirational Rob. And I'm E. We hope to have you back when we're closer to the west side. <laughs> she had to make quite a journey over here, but it has been a thrill. And we appreciate you. And we look to have you back. Listen, like, share, comment. What else we got to do? Subscribe. 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 We're on YouTube, all platforms of podcasting. And, and support us. Get at us, Aquafina. If you want a sponsorship yeah. on the show, get at us. Get at us. Get at us. DM us on IG or Facebook and subscribe, like, share, comment on Talk Time with Inspirational Rob and I'm E. We see y'all next time.